he should be at school. Instead, 15-year-old Harith Mansour spends his days wringing chickens' necks, plucking feathers and bagging up fresh meat for customers in this small shop in the Yemeni capital, Sana'a. He is one of an unknown number of Yemen's children working to keep their families fed and housed. Six years of war have pushed the country ever deeper into poverty and hunger. I had to take on this job because my father cannot cover household expenses by himself. There isn't enough for school or other things. Price inflation in the war-battered economy is a major driver of the hunger crisis. Abdul Mohammed Jamalis, also 15 and clad in sandals and a shirt, cuts the steel bars used to reinforce concrete. Fighting in his home city of Hodeida in western Yemen, displaced his parents and eight siblings to the nearby countryside two years ago. With his father unwell and unable to work, Jamalis and his brother moved to Sana'a. He earns six or seven dollars a day, but has to spend more than half on food and accommodation, with a meagre remainder to send home. What forced me to work is the situation. My father's unwell and can't work anymore, and I only have one brother working from time to time during the month. The situation is difficult, and our trust is in God. Before the latest conflict erupted in late 2014, Yemen was working with the United Nations to reduce child labour. But its children's organisation, UNICEF, says the war has more than doubled the number of kids out of school to two million.